Although the plant selector system provides a convenient way to bring planting symbols into your design, there are other ways, especially if you're reasonably well organized. What I've done here is to create a block called trees, another block called shrubs, ground covers, climbers, etc. So if I just call up a block called trees and bring it in and sit it alongside my design, let's, for the sake of argument, say that I want to put some colitis in here in this zone, and we'll imagine that there's not one there already, I can explode the block, then I can pick the symbol and simply copy it and put it or stamp copies of them down into the drawing. So now I have a clump of uh, southern cypress in that particular area. Similarly, to add uh, the Tahitian lime or other species or other symbols, if you like, that are in this uh, group. Here's the um, Banksia integrifolia, the coastal uh, Banksia, and I've got a symbol for it placed into the drawing. So what this does, of course, is helps you create your species schedule very, very easily. It's already there, and you don't have to go searching for a particular um, symbol. What I do is to gather together um, trees in a folder, and I've got trees that suit coastal areas, trees that suit um, frost-prone areas, trees that suit um, higher hills areas or mountain areas and so on. So I can pick up the tree symbol group or the shrub symbol group that's appropriate to a particular locality. It does take a little bit of organisation, but I only have to type the botanical names and common names once.